When I came into the business, I thought it was all about just making money. And today I wanted to share a story with you that's uh, pretty close to home. What happened to me in my first month or two was I went out to see a client. A husband, wife, they had two small kids that were playing outside when I went to see them. The man was uh, retiring. And, and he goes, you got to see my roommate. Patrick. I met uh, Roger and Teresa. The lady tried to turn me away. But they actually seen the value so much that they put the full weight of, weight of the program behind the 78-year-old spouse. Well, I set up multiple appointments with Patrick and he didn't show up to his appointment three times. You know, that presentation wasn't the easiest presentation in the world. I'll never forget that they told me no. She said she threw the card away, doesn't know how I got it, don't know how I got an appointment, and I ended up getting inside. And I remember it being more difficult to earn that family's trust. Um, at the end, I actually thought that they weren't going to enroll, and you know, when they told me that they were going to enroll, I was actually really surprised. There was something inside of me that just had this feeling like I needed to see this guy. I ended up enrolling to a really nice plan. Regardless, Roger and Teresa called me two days after. We just decided that we want to just do the Freedom of Choice certificate. Sitting down with her and her husband, they ended up being a really amazing family, and uh, I enrolled them into the insurance. And it was a feel-good. I, I remember feeling really good about it. Two weeks later, I got a phone call, and the wife was you know, very frantic on the phone, and you know, I asked her what was wrong, and she said that her husband passed away. And um, I got her to calm down and she went through and kind of just told me what happened, that the husband just got diagnosed with cancer. Some kind of oil tanker, you know, was on the freeway and stalled and his truck ended up hitting the oil tanker and four men died. And one was Patrick. I remember the fear that she had had in her voice when she first called me. Hey Lauren, there's been an accident. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've never done this before. I don't know, I don't know. What, I don't even know what to do. Do they even have coverage yet? It's only been six weeks. I was there Saturday morning. That day I actually drove up to her home. And I remember walking into the hospital. And I remember walking in and her sister pointing at me and saying, that's uh, our insurance guy. You know, she grabbed me and hugged me and you know, cried on my shoulder for 10 minutes. And I remember seeing Roger and I gave him a big hug. And I said, it's, you're gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. I was able to be the shoulder that they could cry on. Lauren called me up and told me everything is taken care of. I'm always grateful for that. And that product, I am a firm believer, you have to be covered because you do not know when your time is up. And it works. And I'm a firm believer in it. It's freedom of choice. And so what that really taught me, it's, it's not about us. I was really being selfish the whole time, only thinking about myself and money. I remember feeling so great about my choice to be with American Income and AO to um, do this as a career. And I think what would have happened if I didn't collect that referral or if we didn't you know, do our job properly, what would have happened with that family? And that always stuck with me. Uh, knowing that I have a company with the strength of American Income Life backing me uh, and following through on those promises, that's a, a thing I'm super grateful for. And know that every single person you sit down with, you got to give it 100%. It's camera lights, action, let's go. Every single time. If you're not feeling it, who cares? Keep it up because you have to do it for them. So from that moment, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to you know, learn the script 100%. But now after this, I realize that, you know what, I can only protect so many families. Every family does need the benefits. So I'm focusing on my five now because I'm gonna be able to protect directly at least five times more families. You know, take my experience and use it um, to motivate yourself until those experiences happen for you.